Condolences was kept open at the Guild Hall Art Gallery for members of the public to lay flowers and remember the victims. In fact, uh, now we have uh, our correspondent, uh, Benji Heyer, joining us live from London here on Rion Dispatch. Benji, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, an extremely sad day uh, for London and uh, uh, Cambridge. It is indeed those two vigils being held at London and Cambridge for the victims of this attack. Jack Merritt, aged 25, and Saskia Jones, aged 23, tragically killed in that London Bridge attack on Friday by Usman Khan, who was subsequently shot dead by armed police. Uh, as I say, the vigils have been held in both of those locations. It's in London where the minute silence was held and attended by uh, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, the leader of the opposition, Jeremy Corbyn, and indeed the London Mayor, Sadiq Khan. And they all sent a, a united and defiant and powerful message that London and the rest of the country will not be cowed by these attacks. And most of the vigil, of course, was taken up by by testimony and by tributes towards these two victims. Uh, the first of which, as I say, Saskia Jones, who was described by her family as kind uh, and having a positive influence. She was through, halfway through a process of applying to the uh, police graduate program before her life was tragically cut short. And then, of course, there is Jack Merritt. A beautiful spirit is how he was described by his family. And his father had a particularly pertinent message, which many politicians might wish to take to heart, and that is that he wouldn't want his son's tragedy uh, and, and his death, indeed, to be taken as any excuse to bring in draconian uh, sentences. And that's been the talk of a lot of politicians recently about how to react and what to do in terms of policy after this incident on London Bridge. Benji Hire, our correspondent, joining us with that live update straight from London. Thank you, Benji, for being with us.